I never managed to film a proper intro for this video, so let me just say, life is not always the highlight reel that social media misleads us to believe, and that's okay. That being said, this is probably the most personal video I've filmed ever, but I'd rather be honest with how I'm making it through each day in case there's anyone else out there struggling with loss or heartbreak and maybe just needs a friend right now too. There's actually like no good way for me to intro this. <laughs> Um, hello. Come on, sit down. I'm currently at my sister's house. Uh, she does have a dog. He was not here in the last video. She is out of town with her boyfriend for her birthday this week, and I am pet sitting for her. God, I, don't, I, I really don't, like, I don't even know where to start with this. Like, I, I don't know. If you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Maddie. I am 28 years old, vlogging my silly little life. Not just the good days, but also the average days, and as you're about to see in this video, the very bad days. If there's anyone out there who maybe just feels like their life is a little too hectic and it just isn't what they see on social media, it's okay. It's okay that your life isn't perfect. It's not aesthetic. It doesn't look like the people on Instagram that you follow. Life is sometimes going to be the very opposite of a highlight reel. Oh, come on. Give me a minute. Just give me a little bit. If I'm being quite honest, I wasn't even sure that I wanted to do this video, but if there's anybody out there suffering like this. This video is for you. It's okay to be sad and it's okay to feel that sadness. And if I'm being quite honest, I'm also filming this for self-indulgent reasons because I feel very alone right now. And I really just needed to talk. I really wanted to talk to you guys. I've been journaling a lot the past like few days, just about everything. If you did click on this video hoping for a tea session or a drama dump, that is not what this video is going to be about, okay? Let me just, I'm gonna just, Put it out there now, I have no malice in my heart towards this other person. I feel like a part of me doesn't wanna get through this. Like I just wanna sit and just be sad forever. In addition to everything that's going on in my personal life, I also have some stuff going on with my job. Um, I have some changes happening there that I will be sharing very soon once they're a little more concrete. Something else I haven't really talked about on this channel yet is the fact that my lease will be ending this September at my apartment and I plan to move. I have long since had it in my mind that I did not wanna renew my lease at my apartment Apartment. and with that decision came talks of moving in with my current partner. Unfortunately, it just doesn't feel like our paths are aligned anymore. Holy f <sighs> We haven't finalized anything yet. Like we haven't really said the words. I feel like we both know. I kind of already know. I need a tissue, I need a tissue. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, I have to go. I have to go get a tissue. I got three, because I know I'm gonna need them. <laughs> it sucks, it sucks, it just, sucks if I'm being quite honest it does feel like like we've just run our course so that's an update that's what's happening right now currently and I wanted to just show a few days of my life dealing with this um, in case anybody else is out there going through something similar even though technically I am still talking to myself talking to a camera but you know I'm just envisioning you on the other side of the screen listening to me so I went to the gym this morning I didn't want to go to the gym this morning if I'm being quite honest that's probably the first time I've ever said that on this channel I never say that I don't want to go to the gym because even when I'm not feeling it I always know that it'll make me feel better but I actually had the worst night of sleep in a really long time last night because a certain cat who is sleeping upstairs now uh, woke me up like three separate times last night starting at four in the morning really didn't have a lot of energy when I woke up this morning. In addition to everything happening in my life, I'm also on my period, so my energy levels are extremely low. Definitely wasn't the best, most productive workout. I did get out of the house and I took myself to the gym and I moved my body for an hour and at this point in time, that is good enough for me. That that is fine. If you are struggling through something similar and you haven't gotten out and like moved your body today, please, 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 please go move your body. Just go for a walk, do something that is not, you know, sitting on the couch, lying in bed. You're gonna keep focusing inward on all of the things making you sad. And we, we know this, we know that moving our body like releases happy chemicals, whatever they're called. I don't know which ones specifically, honestly, moving your body makes you feel better. I moved my body today. That's all that I care about. For the rest of today, I wanna edit. I wanna do some things that will take my mind off the current situation. I also need to go by the store and get new computer cords because one of the cats here chewed my computer cord. You don't have a single care in the world. All right, so it has been um, like a couple hours. I went outside for a little bit and then came in and rotted on the couch for a little bit. It's 2.30 on the dot now. I just got back from Best Buy though. I did go to Best Buy and actually run one of the errands I needed to run. I really didn't have it in me to go to Trader Joe's right now. 
I did order pizza for dinner last night, so I have that in the fridge if I do get hungry today. I know it's not the healthiest thing to eat right now, but if you're like me and you struggle with disordered eating or have had an eating disorder in the past, like right now I'm being really careful with my mental health and I'm trying to just make sure I have quick, convenient things that I can eat just because I've already felt my appetite kind of going these last couple days. So we're not we're not focused on being healthy in this, okay? We're, we're focused on surviving. Why does Apple have to package things the way they do? Okay, I got a two meter USB-C case cable so hopefully this is long enough for my macbook because i would really like to edit and do something productive i've been watching tv all afternoon anyways so cool i have the one for my macbook now my macbook one is replaced oh i need to actually plug this in excuse me it actually might not be long enough but i don't feel like it ever was is there like a cord back here i mean that's not ideally where i want to sit i'm gonna have to come over but Okay, perfect, it's charging. Love that, love that for me. I can sit in the other corner of the couch. I'm comfiest right here, but you know, whatever. Um, and then I had to get another one. I had to get two new cords because the cat shoots through both of them. I had no idea that cat was that feral. Oh my God, I, that's the cat. That's the cat that usually doesn't come up to me or let me pet him. He's very shy because he doesn't, he's just not comfortable around new people. This is a very long cord for my external hard drive. When I got this, it just came with a USB-C and USB Port. So like it had the USB-C end for this half, but then the other half was still just a regular USB. And that was a very short cord. This is nicer because now I don't need the adapter. <sighs> Anyways, that's my nerd haul. So I'm gonna turn the TV on probably and just keep editing. I really wanna finish editing the New York vlog. I actually have a couple of videos. I, I still have that aforementioned vlog that I never posted from when we were house sitting. And now I don't know that I should post it, but I also kind of do because like, here's the thing, like I'm not feeling like malicious and like deleting everything. I, if, if anything, it's the opposite. And I'm, I'm more happy that I have these things so that I can like look back on this time one day like fondly and just remember how happy I was and how happy this person made me. I'm not gonna delete like every video that he's ever been in, which is a really weird and sad full circle moment because that's kind of why I started posting on this YouTube again, aside from the fact that it's just something I've always wanted to do. But I'm a very sentimental person. I talk about, I've talked about this before in other videos. I'm just a very sentimental person and God, this is literally what nobody tells you about. This is this is the part that sucks the most. Like, it's the like the pre breakup grieving. Like, you try to like bargain with the universe and like beg for a miracle. Okay, I'm I gotta go. I gotta go. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you go in there. Okay, so not to be constantly letting the Swifty in my head out to play, but I have had a quote from Mrs. Dr. Swift on my mind a lot this week in particular, and it goes, nothing is permanent. There is one thing I've learned. My response to anything that happens, good or bad, is to keep making things, keep making art. I think deep down, that's why I decided to pick the camera up this week and make this video. Even though it might feel right now like life is kicking me down, I know this pain won't be, quote, evermore. And no matter what life is throwing at you, you have to get back up and keep pushing to make the suffering worth something in the hopes that one day something bigger and more wonderful than before can be reborn from the ashes of that suffering. Even if it means crying on camera for the sake of maybe making a connection with others who share your pain. But anyways, deep introspective moment over for now. Let's get back to the video. Bone apple teeth. I don't feel like I, I think I need to pull the table closer. I have nothing new to report on other than I finished the creative cut of the New York vlog. I really am just trying to find some good background music that I like for it. I work at 9 a.m. tomorrow, so I kind of need to prioritize getting to bed early tonight. Thankfully, I have Thursday off, so tomorrow I can stay up late again being sad like I did last night. Like, I... <laughs> I'm literally just gonna be crying by myself in this house again. I actually, I would like actually to talk to you guys for a second because my pizza's too hot and I can't eat it right now. I feel like I'm postponing. I feel like I'm 
just avoiding it. I feel like I feel like we both came to the conclusion then we just decided to do this so that we didn't have to do the thing. This sucks. This this sucks so fing bad. And I know it's for the best because we both deserve to be happy. Like there's just there's no compromise here. Like there's like an eyelash in my eye. I don't actually know how much of that is even gonna make it into the final video. I just used my napkin as a tissue. Uh oh. Oh, okay, well you're welcome. Pretty sure that dog just ate all of I actually had to come back because my sister kept telling me that she was gonna have a few packages delivered while I was here, asking me what the one that got delivered today looked like. So I sent her a picture of it and she just said, that's for you, open it. This is the giant box that she told me to open. Let's just... Can you see this dog? He literally thinks every box is for him. Is this your mail? Do you think it's yours? Does anybody else try to like guess what it is before you even take it out? Do you see this dog? Look at him. This is not for you. What is this? Oh, this is heavy. What is this? Move it down. Uh, what? Go. What is going on here? We're unbox me. We really hope this box makes you smile or cry, but only the happy kind. Wait. When did she order this? Did she just order this, Winston? Did she order this because of me being sad? Self-care gift box for women. So it's a self-care box. Okay, I have literally every animal in the house like trying to sniff this. This is what it looks like. There's the dog, excuse him. It's just called Unbox Me, but I should do it the OG beauty YouTuber way where we have our little moment. Oh shit, sending hugs. Not everything in the world is for you. I know it should be, but it's not. What's in here? Oh, everything's wrapped up in tissue paper, hold on. We, we have down here, we have an oatmeal honey bath bomb. Um, there's a fake succulent for the vibes. And also because I will kill a real plant. So I actually prefer fake plants. Cloud socks. Oh, like ultra soft socks. Okay. What is this? It's tea. The healer. A healing blend of rooibos, rooibos, tea, leaves, cinnamon, turmeric, root, and ginger. And then I have a sea salt and sage candle. Is this what I... What the box is smelling like. <sighs> that smells really good, actually. Um, and then I have a tiny box. Oh, it's a mug to put the tea in. Duh. I feel like I need to take a bath now. My sister actually has a giant jacuzzi bath in this house, like up in the master bedroom. Kind of debating taking a bath in there tonight now because I want to use all of this. <laughs> oh my God, did she just send me this? Cause I'm having a really bad time. <laughs> I literally have to text her like right now. Part of me was gonna take a shower this morning, but it is truck day at my job. So all of our stock comes in today that's being replenished. I think I'm just gonna wait until after work because I just get really gross and sweaty on Wednesdays at work anyways, because I'm lifting so much and moving around. I work 10 to 7.30, so that's fun. It's later than I thought I was gonna work. I really thought I had to work at nine. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I think I kind of want to take him on a around the block at some point this morning before I go to work. You are not coming in this room, sir. So it is now 7.30 on the dot, actually, that's wild. Every time I keep looking at the clock this week, it's always like on the hour or halfway through, but it'll be like on the dot. It's kind of weird. All of the animal maintenance things are taken care of. Except for the anxiety, except for these anxiety pills that I'm supposed to give the dog. I want to give those to him a little closer to when I'm leaving. Um, but before all of that, I need to figure out breakfast. I need to figure out what I want. Oh, there is eggs. Oh, okay, cool. I can make an omelet. I don't have cheese. Well, I have sliced cheese. I can put sliced cheese on it. 
Phoebe, get away from there. There's not even food in there. One of these cats is an absolute menace and a nightmare to the other cats, like especially at dinner time. She will eat her food so fast and then try to like steal the other cat's food and it's like unreal. I cannot believe it. I could go to a grocery store. Y'all, I have to be honest, my bank account is looking so tragic right now. I'm still just like paying things off as soon as I get paid and I have $19, okay. I have $19 to get me to Friday, which is fine because that's literally the day after tomorrow. I don't know why I started talking about that. I have $20. Am I gonna need anything tomorrow is the question. I should actually, I have a better idea. How close is Trader Joe's? I literally avoided going to Trader Joe's yesterday. I just wasn't feeling it, but there is actually a Trader Joe's 10 minutes down the road. We'll do a quick morning run before work because I did wake up early enough. Like I don't have to actually be out of the house until like 9.30, I have two hours to kill. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. When do they open? Oh my God, are they even gonna open? This is opening soon. Oh, they open at eight. seen it this empty. Oh my god, this is wild. Oh, I did get myself. No. Hello, hello everyone. It is currently 8.22. I just am actually in a noticeably better mood today. More of just like a hopeful good feeling. I just had a really good day at work. Excuse you. Anyways, what was I trying, what was I trying to say before I got distracted by the cat? Oh, he is like actually, you are such a doofus, Cletus. You cannot get into this door. I'm like actually starving right now. And yes, we're eating leftover pizza again, okay? You've already seen me reheat pizza in an air fryer. Let me just put this in the air fryer and get it cooking and I'll be right back. I have two slices of pizza in the air fryer. Low key, you guys, I kind of wanted three. Tomorrow is my last night here. Um, and I actually have work at 1 p.m. on Friday. So Friday morning slash early afternoon is probably when I'm gonna just take most of my stuff home. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, feeling better, oh my God. I just wanna say, just a few takeaways, you know? First and foremost, just because I'm having a good day and everything seems fine now, it's very much not. I don't really think you can speed run grief, but I think me staying here by myself for a few days and really forcing myself to be alone, feel it and let it wreck me, I think it's helping me process a lot of the initial shock and grief and loss. I feel like I have <laughs> cried so many tears in these last few days. And if I'm being quite honest, if I talk about it enough, I could probably cry again. Like I, I, I think there are infinite amount of tears that I could cry over this relationship and everything that it means to me. And you know, <laughs> he's a oh my God, <laughs> I've seen him do this before. But he has not done it on camera. Oh my God, there he is. Oh my God. 
I had to show you that moment because that literally sent me. Oh my God, I can't believe I got that on camera. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to say, take some time to be alone. I know that's really scary and it's not what any of us want because like when you have a partner and a significant other in your life, you never have to worry about being alone because if you're sad and lonely, you can just call them up. I know so because I did. Half the reason I was always over at my partner's house when we were dating. Oh my God, let me not speak in past tense. We're literally not out of this relationship yet. Let me not speak in past tense. A lot of the times that I would go over to his house was literally just because I didn't want to be alone in my own room. I didn't want to be by myself. I was like, let me just call my boyfriend and go hang out with him. And like, you know, that's fine. But you know, and this is probably for another conversation, but I think there is something to be said about, you know, making sure you're monitoring how much you need that person's company and presence in your everyday life. And if it's like getting unbearably hard to be without them physically and you always need to be around them, that's probably a problem. I definitely never got to that point. It was more just like, if I was at home bored, instead of entertaining myself with like hobbies or something else to do, I just like, was like, I'm gonna just go to my boyfriend's house. Again, not necessarily a terrible thing, but I definitely don't think it set me up in the best possible way for everything that is happening this week because it has made being alone that much harder. Reggie, that is not something for you to scratch on. You have a million scratch pads all over this house. Why are you scratching the one thing you can't scratch? All in all, just to sum that up, I just wanna say, make sure you take time alone for yourself. As much as you may hate it, removing yourself from the environment even, taking some time for yourself to just be alone and process everything you're feeling. And I'm gonna say this too, if you can maybe do what I'm doing and remove yourself from your environment entirely, do that too. I will say that being away from the environment that I was in has definitely helped as well. Healing is not linear, regardless of what you're healing from. It's not linear. You're gonna have good days and you're gonna have bad days. You're gonna have days like today where I feel, maybe not necessarily on top of the world, but I feel like everything is manageable right now. No matter what happens, I know that I am a full complete person outside of this relationship. I know that I have wants, desires, dreams, aspirations, whatever you want to call them. I like, I had all of those things before and I still have them after. I have things that make me me. And if you are struggling with something very similar to me, if you are not someone who has spent a lot of time focusing on what you want for your life, your hopes, your dreams, even just hobbies, like things that interest you. I'm not going to say it's too late to start because it's never too late to start, but please start Start losing yourself in something creative. Start losing yourself in something that is something that's more than just sitting on the couch watching TV, thinking about how, just what, thinking whatever thoughts you have about how like maybe you feel like your life is gonna end, your whole meaning of life is gonna disappear. Let me tell you right now that it's lizard brain thinking. Your life is not gonna end. Your life is not over because that person left. It's not. And I know it sounds so cliche. I know this is what people say. Even now saying this, I'm like, LOL, yeah, sure. Like watch you wake up tomorrow not feeling like this at all. I can handle this. You should definitely Definitely listen to You're On Your Own Kid by Taylor Swift because nothing is more empowering than Taylor Swift reminding you you're on your own, but you can face this. Yeah, that was such a good song to listen to on my way home from work, actually. I may or may not have made a playlist of like literally all of the saddest Taylor Swift songs I could think of. I've been talking for 15 minutes about God knows what. I'm gonna get my pizza out of this air fryer. Anyways, I'm going to sit on the patio. My sister like decorated the shit out of her patio. Like she has lights out there. She has that egg chair. I'm gonna sit out there and just like have some fresh air. And with that, we've reached the end of this video. This was supposed to be one week in my life video, but I ended up with way too much footage. So if you'd like to see what awaits me in the second half of this week, make sure to subscribe and stick around for part two next week. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy personal oversharey content like this because it helps YouTube find other cool folks like you that might be interested in my videos too. As always, don't forget to stick around and subscribe and join my little corner of the internet and I will see you guys in part two. Bye. Oh my god.